hello and welcome to another video and this is my wrap up for june and i read one two three four seven books this month all together and this month was my digital binge um, i read and listened to things via ebook and audiobook and the first thing that i read was Jill Sims The Saturday Night Savignon Sisterhood. Um, I think I gave this four stars on Goodreads. This was a really good one, um, as always. Um, you know, there are some hard times in this, some rubbish ones. Um, makes you laugh, it makes you want to cry, but it's a really good book, all in all. Um, and the next book that I have is with this kiss by Carrie Hope Fletcher. I think I gave this four stars as well. Um, this one was just a very nice, simple book. Um, I have nothing to complain about with that one. Um, so yeah, nothing to say really. Um, the next book that I have is The Case of the Lighthouse Intruder, which is Waterstone's book of the month for June. And I think I gave this three stars. Um, it was alright, I am not. wasn't really that bothered if I'm honest, but sometimes I am hit or miss with the children's books um, for work. Not that I have to read them, but I like to read at least something. Um, I also read a book called the, called the Girl In Between, which is about a young girl, a young girl slash woman who has this neurological thing where she sleeps for very long periods of time and suddenly a boy comes into her like subconscious in that space where she is when she isn't awake um and they're trying to figure out why and it's a bit weird um but yes i think i gave this three stars um but i mean for the most part it was okay it was just very cliche i guess um the next ebook that I read was Hedge Hedgling by Natasha Brown and this one got two stars. It was the lowest rated book all month for me. Uh, this one has the most crossover and similarities to Twilight. I have some um, highlights from this on my Goodreads that I have shared and some of them is like not word for word but you can see very clearly that it's twilight um but i had a lot of fun just comparing the two um which was quite funny um i also managed to finish a torch in the night by sabata here um via audiobook i didn't read it all this month but i at least managed to finish it um and i also managed to complete in its entirety Green Nights by Matthew McConaughey which I gave three and a half. Um, I think more for the most part the stories in that for me weren't necessarily needed for me um, but I could literally just lis listen to him talk all day and that's fine that's all I needed out of Matthew McConaughey. Um, I do have an audiobook not an audiobook and another ebook which is a very short story which apparently according to the reviewers only takes 20 minutes to read so i might have this called zero hours a short story by eamon ambrose um done by tomorrow which will be the third what the 30th if i'm recording this on the 29th so this might be done too um but i will i suppose you'll find out but anyways, that is it for the wrap up. Um, I might add my TBR onto this as well. Um, and my statistics. Um, so in total I read seven books. They were 2,052 pages altogether. Average pages, 293. Um, average stars was 3.7 altogether. I read five ebooks and listened to two audiobooks this month which is all good um i think it's the most i've read since january which is kind of crazy 
um, but all good stuff. Um, and for July, I have four books planned. Um, so hopefully I will read them all. And the first one is The City of Stone Magic by Nasneen Ahmed Patak. I don't know how to say her surname, but beautiful cover. Um, I don't really know anything about the book, to be honest, um, other than magic is getting stamped out wherever this is set, I think in India, um, and, you know, the girl tries to fix it. But other than that, I know absolutely nothing. But I believe it's Waterstone's Children's Book of the Month for July, so hopefully I will enjoy this. Um, if it makes us think about food, then I am happy with that. I shall get five stars instantly. Um, the next book that I have is The Chain by Adrian McKinty and I have been told that this book is very good by a colleague at work um, and they've even sent me a message on Instagram saying you need to read this, it's the best. Um, but anyways, this one um, in the book, the, the protagonists child is abducted and they then have to abduct another child to save their own so it's the chain but um i think they have another book out actually which if i like this i will definitely buy um i also have the accidental medium by tracy whithall and there's also a sequel to this currently so if i enjoy this i will also buy this buy that sorry and I barely remember what this is about, but I do like the sound of it from what I have read. Um, and with this, it's a map. Like, she is grieving her friend Frank, and she ends up finding out that she is a medium and she can talk to the dead. And she gets caught up in a murder investigation because she can speak to the dead. Um, but other than that, I know nothing, and it's set in Gateshead, which is near our work, so that's cool too. And I also have The Return of the King. This should be some good stuff. This will, I think this is going to be the first thing I read in July, simply because I put on at the end of every month, saying what should I read first, at the start of next month, and... It's like a poll and I normally put like two or three options to keep it simple for the people to vote on but um but this one is currently winning by quite a bit so this looks like it's gonna be the first thing to get read and I'm gonna be a little bit devastated when it's finished because I am enjoying the series it's gonna be sad so I don't want it to end yet. But yeah. I just want the potatoes to keep going. Should get that t tattooed, shouldn't I? Potato. But anyways, that's all this video is right now. Um, I will, of course, vlog and review Lord of the Rings, as I have been doing. Um, so I'll see you soon in a new video and thanks for watching.